What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of I Rate Your Team. So hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Now super quick before the episode starts, I want to give a quick shout out to the Discord. We have an I Rate Your Team's Discord link in the description to the I Rate Your Team's Discord. What I love about this is that we have a room dedicated to sending in teams and then we also have a chat room dedicated to literally just rating the teams that have been sent in as well. Uh, I think it's really cool. You know, we have teams from, from loads of people. For example, Rido's team has got 100k to spend. Uh, and this is what his team is currently looking like. I like this a lot. Um, I think this is really cool. We might have to start rating a bunch of teams in the Discord because I think it's really cool. Uh, and it's going to be really fun to rate a lot of teams in the Discord as well. For example, this team with King Kenny untradeable is pretty incredible. So I recommend joining. Link in the description. We've got nearly 2,000 members. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, and let's get straight on with the episode. Starting off with Jesper's team, he says, Untradables are Tierney, Politano, Trossard, Thorsby, and Zambrotta. I have 50,000 coins for upgrades, and I've got Cliver and a Prime Icon pack. You're putting in the sick base. I think that's a good pull. I actually think Cliver is good this year. Uh, he said, considering Maldini uh, with the tokens, uh, is the second or third team worth changing to? Meant future stars are carrying to the Griezmann. Thoughts in general. Let's check it out. So this is what he's rocking at the minute. And this is what he's playing in game. You guys won't be able to see it, but the uh, defensive line is to Stegen in goal, Granite right centre back, and Zabrotta right back. Although you probably guessed it um, with Eden Militao left centre back. Uh, and he's thinking about either changing to this team or he's changing to this team, I think. Uh, he said he meant future stars of Coney, not Griezmann. Um, I like this setup better than this one. I'm not a big fan of Mason Mount this year. Uh, I tried him. I actually un I packed him on tradable and I gave him a go. The reason why I don't like Mason Mount is because I think that this year, uh, if you don't have skill moves, you need to be able to dribble really well. And his dribbling isn't fantastic this year. Um, you know, I couldn't really do the the circulation dribbling, as I like to call it, where you sort of uh, you can get out of tricky situations by just dribbling around. Uh, I couldn't really do that with him this year. And because he didn't have skill moves, um, it makes it really difficult. I think you need one or the other. And if you've got both, it's perfect. That's why I love Butra Gono, because although he didn't have four-star skills, uh, he's got the dribbling to back it up, and he's really, really good. So not a big fan of Mason Mount. Uh, but I, So I would say go with this team. Now, looking at this team, uh, obviously we, we're pretending it's future stars are up there, so the Griezmann. Uh, would I change much? I think that you can upgrade Eden Militao in due time. Uh, maybe, obviously, going with that Maldini would fix a lot of your problems. It gives you really good chemistry and stuff like that. Um, so I think he definitely could be an option. When you do upgrade to Maldini, I think then uh, it might be time to get yourself to Stegen in goal. Ariola is not bad. His winter refresh isn't terrible, but uh, to Stegen this year is just... He's the best goalie in the game, man. He just really is. And, it, it, you know, it's painful how good he is sometimes. He just, he blocks everything, bro. And it's, it's, you know, it's impossible. So, yeah, I'd say get yourself that Maldini. Get yourself to Stegen in yet. And I think this this team would be really good. You know, it definitely uh, be good to to combat, you know, in, in the weekend league, for example. Um, next team coming from Daniel, who says, I've got 150k all in tradable except Ndidi and Son and Mendy. Uh, cheers. I play the same in game. Let's check it out. Uh, oh, okay. Um... I would say change out Yosi Perez. Now, double check, you said you got 150,000 coins and you're looking for a Premier League cam. If we load up real quick, uh, we load up footbin, go to players, go to positions. Uh, we're going to start off with centre mids and and, and 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 search and go over to Premier League cams because you don't need the link to Ndidi. So um, we could go with somebody else here. Let's have a quick look who we could go with uh, using site. Uh, I want to say... Price between 1,000 and we'll say 170k because you'll get the 20k ish from selling a Yosi Perez as well. Now, you could obviously go with De Bruyne, De Bruyne is, is solid either way. Uh, you know, he's a good player. Um, but looking at this, there's a couple of options. If you want to stay with Leicester, there's James Madison's headliner card. It's a very good card this year. Uh, he's got very, very nice stats, um, good dribbling, skill moves, uh, good weak foot, good passing and shooting. Uh, will be pretty decent for you. There's not a whole host of other options that are around that that value. Now, we could go center forward and striker and see if there's any players that would play center forward and striker that would work. Um, let's have a quick look. For example, Roberto Firmino could be a decent shout. He's got the five-star skills. Um, he's got good dribbling, good weak foot, strong as well, strong in game. Uh, if you're looking for someone that's a little bit stronger, uh, he could be a good option. Or you could go with, like, for example, uh, Inform Gabriel Jesus. Or you could go with uh, Normal Lucas, for example. I don't know how much uh, the new Shapeshifter Lucas is, but you could play Shapeshifter Lucas off cam at striker and play Jamie Vardy over here at right cam. That could also work pretty well for you. Um, you know, that'd be pretty decent. I also recommend using uh, Roussillon at left back. The Normal Roussillon and Normal Ferland Mendy are pretty similar in, in ability and, and, and how good they are. 
Um, so I think that, you know, you're probably better off going with Rusion and getting full chemistry. Alternatively, you could go with David Alaba and get full chemistry as well. That could be a decent shout. Uh, so either one of those would work pretty well as well. Um, but no, the team's good, man. I like the team. Next one coming from Ben, who says, Hi, hey, but this is my team. I have replaced Schultz with Foot Birthday Da Costa from the birthday bag. Kante, Wambasaka, and Van der Sar are tradable, have about 140k and 15 tokens. What should I choose? Let's check it out. Oh, did you get did you get Blanc from the Prime Icon pack? You don't really say, but I would guess you got Blanc from the Prime Icon pack. Uh, that is a big dub if you did. So you replace Wambasaka with uh wait, you see you? You play sorry, you play Schultz with uh, with Foot Birthday Da Costa. Okay. Um, I mean, he's a good player, don't get me wrong. Uh, he's got the four-star weak foot as well, which would work really well for him. Um, that foot back to Costa. What would I say with this team? I would say with your remaining tokens, with the icon swaps, because I'm not entirely sure how you play here. Let me, let me double check this. So you're playing a narrow. I am not entirely sure this narrow would work amazingly. The way, the reason why, obviously, I'm, you know, I, I think of myself as a narrow connoisseur. Um, and I think that you need someone on the left centre mid or right centre mid spot that's going to be a box-to-box -box good at attacking and defending. And I don't think Vidal's that guy. I think he's more of a defensive player. So what I would say is uh, swap out uh, Kante for Vidal. Um, so, you know, you, you're playing with, uh, with this left cam spot is what you're looking for. You're looking for a good player go to le this left cam spot. Now, in terms of the icon swaps, there are a few decent options you could go with here. If you really want to go with Baby Hullet, you could go with him. I'm not the biggest fan of Baby Hullet, but if you if you want to go with Baby Hullet, you could. Uh, I would say, you know, you've got the, the Lampard that isn't a bad box-to-box. -box. Um, let me have a look at the other options real quick as well, because I've already forgotten the icon swaps. I've already forgot. Right, I went and got I went and got a picture of the icon swaps to help me out, to have a look at a little bit better. Yeah, so like I said, like you've got you've got the Lampard and you've got the 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 Hullet. Uh, alternatively, you could go with somebody over Vidal as a more attacking player and get yourself the Gattuso as a CDM. Um, but I don't recommend that really. I don't think that's ideal. You could go with Kaka, but Kaka hasn't got the defensive capability in my opinion. Uh, however, if you look for someone that's just attacking, you could go with Kaka. Uh, he could be a decent option. Um, but I think your I think your best option here is probably this Lampard card. I think Lampard as a attacking box to box is probably your better option. 80 pace is not bad. 86 dribbling is not bad. Good shooting, good uh, physicals, good passing, uh, decent defensive stats as well. I think for, for the amount of tokens that he is, I think that this is probably the best option for you. Uh, if you're looking for a left-sided box-to-box here, uh, replace him with either either one you you least like, for example. So if you prefer Kante, keep Kante. If you prefer Vidal, keep Vidal. Um and replace the other one with with Lampard as a defensive box to box, or even if you if you don't like Vieira, get rid of Vieira and, you, and use uh, use Vidal as a CDM, for example. Uh, but I think the team is good, man. Um, we're gonna go next with. I can't really do these teams because it's. <laughs> I I don't care what you say. I literally don't care what you say. I can't like I. I'd have to be looking like that to see that, man. That's impossible. Um, right. Next one coming from Luke. He says, this is my team. The 4-4-2 in game with Lewandowski and Dalgley strikers. Looking to sell Mertens and Lozano after the weekend league, but keep Allen. Any suggestions? 400 k with them sold. Check it out. You know, I'd keep them, man. Like, I, Allen, in my opinion this year, is one of the best centre mid slash CDMs. He is the GOAT, man. I love Allen this year. He's been fantastic. Lozano, I'm not a big fan of Lozano. You could change him out. Uh, you could go with a better right-sided player. Now... Um, you could start saving it and, and get off chem Neymar at right wing. Now, that'll take you a little while to get up to. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any any Brazilian right wings that you can go with in the meantime. Um, you could, you could if, if you've got time on your hands, which I think we all have given the circumstances, you could go and do that Politano um, and get Politano as your right wing uh, instead of Lozano. I'm, not, I'm just not a big fan of Lozano this year. I just don't think he's very good. Um... Or you, or you know, you could, you could, uh, you could go with a French right wing there as well if you wanted to. Um, you could save up and get yourself like any French right wing that would work there as well. That could also be something you do. But the rest of the team is really well built. This defense, this sorry, this backline and the, like this midfield in general, fantastic. That red Lewandowski, that card looks insane. I really want to use that card. I'm gonna use that card at some point. I don't know when I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna use that card at some point. Uh, the backline looks really, really tasty as well. Uh, this is a really well built team, man. I like it a lot. Uh, Curtis, because you've been spamming, bro, I'm going to have to mute you, bro. I'm sorry, dude. You won't be able to get into any of the episodes again. Um, you're going to have to make a new account. I did say in one of the episodes, don't spam. 
in in really quick succession because it just pushes more people's teams downwards and now because you're muted i literally won't be able to see your tweets anymore so if you want to be in the episodes in the future i recommend making a new account and and being in the episodes in the future just don't spam like this man because especially when your team is taking portrait on a landscape photo and is about 13 pixels big <laughs> um no like i appreciate the support and stuff like that i really do uh it's just that like I did say in the last episode, spamming, it pushes more people's teams downwards, which means less people get in the episodes. So I want as many people as possible to get in the episodes. Um, anyway, this is Zayan's team. He says, uh, this is my team. The second is in game. My untradeables are Aubameyang, Martial, Hernandez, Lloris, all SBC players and icons. Uh, I packed Hernandez from the party bag, W or L, uh, willing to spend 250k. Any improvements? I like Preston. Love the vids. Keep the good work. Are you like Preston is in the team? Hey, I respect it, dude. Mate, Hernandez is a dumb man. Hernandez is a fantastic player. I really like that card. This team in general looks sick. So uh, this is this is what the team's looking like. I'm guessing you meant to put what you start in and what you play in game. I guess we can kind of guess where you start. Or oh no, this is this is two different teams. Wait, is it? Or this is how you start in? I'm so confused. I'm guessing this is how you start in and how you play in game. I think I've just confused myself like an idiot. This team is cool though. I like the Irish link over there on the right side. That's pretty cool. Um, as well as the buy-in link over here. I like that as well. Uh, Fred. I am about 30,000 XP away from Fred on my main account. Don't think I'm getting there. I really don't. I want to get there so badly because that card looks incredible, but I don't think I'm getting there, um, unfortunately. So that's going to be one that I miss out on. But man, that Fred card looks absolutely incredible. This team looks like it's really well built. It looks like he's got uh, the right proportions in terms of a defense and attack. What I would say with this team, um, let me double check how many coins you got. You've got 250,000 coins to spend. I think, although I like the Irish link here, Sean Maguire isn't that great in game. I've personally used him. Um, not a big fan. I think you could go with someone better there for 250k. Given that Coleman's in the Prem, uh, and you also have two icons you can link them to as well. Uh, you can literally go with any Premier League striker here for 250k. Uh, looking at different options, you could go with, a, for example, Aguero. Uh, if you wanted to go with the 88 Jamie Vardy, I think this card would actually be pretty good. Don't get me wrong. I have given Jamie Vardy some stick over the last... Uh, six months but this 88 card is finally looking like a card that's going to play pretty well in game um you know it took him a few upgrades to get there but i'm starting to actually finally rate him in game uh so he could be a good option that he could go with uh i think the inform gabriel jesus is actually really good at striker i used him for a little while as well i enjoyed him hyung min son if you look for someone a little bit taller a little bit stronger could be a decent option too um he's down at 100k now um aguero like i said could be a decent option his 90 rated inform or 90 rated uh team of the nominee could be a good option or if you're just looking for a finisher even Harry Kane, to be honest, like any any one of those. Uh, someone asked why I only check PlayStation prices. Well, firstly, my footbin is, is set to PlayStation. Um, so that's why I check PlayStation because it's just easy to check PlayStation. But also, typically, uh, and we'll use Harry Kane as an example, typically, PlayStation prices and Xbox prices aren't too far apart. This is actually a really poor example. Usually, the PlayStation prices are a little bit more than the Xbox prices, as you see with 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 Hyung Min Son here. This is a good example. Usually, the PlayStation prices are a little bit more than Xbox prices. Um, so, if you can afford the player on PlayStation, then you'll probably be able to afford it on Xbox as well. That's why I usually check with the PlayStation prices because I think it's just a little bit easier. So, yeah, I'd say just work on on getting a better Premier League striker here. Uh, you know, whoever floats your boat, really, whichever one you prefer the look of. Uh, I'd say. Uh, next one coming from Hen, who says, I've got 100,000 coins. Mendy and Ariola are the only tradables, and I'm willing to save up, but I'm not good at it. I feel that, dude. A lot of people aren't good at saving. I'm I'm one of those. This is very interesting. I am not entirely sure I like this. This kind of scares me. Um, all the plays off chemistry, not a fan of. Uh, playing Bakayoko and this left back at centre back, I'm also a little bit skeptical of. Uh, as well as playing, uh, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I get it, right? And I think it works well, but I think it could be executed better. I think what you could do here instead, right? Because Valamendi is playing right back. Um, here's what I think you could do. I think you get yourself Varane instead of Valamendi because uh, I would say play play in my chemistry. But also what I would then do is I play Bakayoko as, uh, as, as your left back or right back as opposed to your center back. Just double check the card, make sure I'm, uh, I'm on the right, I'm on the right track here. Um, Cause in my opinion, oh, he's only got 79 pace. Maybe play him as a CDM then and play, play Ramos as your right back. I don't think that 
playing this many plays off chem and, and starting on 95 chem is good. I know a lot of you guys say 8 chem doesn't matter, 7 chem doesn't matter. When you don't have 100 chem in your starting team, you start to lose chemistry points in game as well as the chemistry points you've already lost because a player is playing on 8 chemistry. Uh, so I think that what I would do is I'd have a rethink of the team. I don't think that this many players off chem is a good idea. And I would uh, I would have a re a restructure because I am not I, I you know I don't think I don't want to sit here and tell you everyone to re like to, to rebuy this guy this guy this guy um you know I'm gonna with, with retract my Varan statement but I think that uh you should try and get at least a hundred chemistry because once you once you start on ninety five chemistry and you go into a game on ninety five chem you lose extra chemistry points and when you lose extra chemistry points either your players lose all of their chemistry style ability or they actually start to lose stats in game and, and you can look it up if you don't believe me it's true um so yeah I would say uh they clear of playing that many plays off chem. I'm going to be a little bit selfish now and talk about my team just for a second. I need a bit of help with this team because I don't know how, like I'm going to play a 4-2-3-1 for the first time in four months. I've played a narrow for ages, but I want to try and play a wide formation uh, first time in ages. And I don't know who to play in this team. These are all the players I've got, right? These are all literally every player here apart from Marcelo is untradeable. I'm looking over here because that's where my monitor is right now. Everyone in this team pretty much is untradeable. I've got these players. This this is Bruno Fernandes, if you're wondering behind my face cam. Uh, these are all the players that I've got in this in the club as well. I don't know who to play at right wing and left wing here. Do I play Nedved over Hazard? Do I play Garincha over George Best? Do I play Messi off chemistry and then play uh, play Kante off chemistry as well? Do I play... Like, I, I don't know what to do here, man. I am genuinely... Like, who starts at camp for me? Pele, Maradona, uh, Ronaldinho... Uh, you, does Butra start over you say I, I don't know what to do please if you have any help in the comments down below help me out please uh, I would love to hear all your feedback and, and I'd love to hear what you think because I haven't played a wide formation in a long time and I don't know really the meta to wide formations anymore if I should be playing left footers on the right right footers on the left if I should you know like like I, I know I know how to play wide formation I just I just want to know which you guys think would be the best players to play in each position that that really helped me out I'd be really grateful and of course I am very very blessed to have this many untradeable players in the club it's it's, it's mental uh let's get back to your regu your 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 regular scheduled viewing all right Next team come from Jamie, who says the tradables are Neymar, Van Dyke, Party. The second picture is in game. Planning on replacing Party with Gattuso from Icon Swaps, and I currently have 200k. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, Party with Gattuso. I, I see that. I think that's a good a good change. I like Nedved. Nedved's really good. Uh, his prime card is 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 really good this year. I used him for a little while. That Palacios card is good, but I don't think he's CDM worthy. Uh, I think that he is better as a box of. I see why you've got him. Obviously, um, I think. You, is he untradeable or tradable? Let me double check. Uh, tradable is our name of Van Dyke and Party. Okay, so he's untradable. I see why you're using him now. Um, yeah, I mean, if he's untradable, I don't see why you'd get rid of him for somebody else, to be honest, because he will play decent as a CDM. I just think he's better as a box to box. Um, Gattuso is a good shout as well. He's a good option. Um, I'm guessing you got Nedbo from the Prime Icon pack. This is a good team, though, to be fair. Uh, I wouldn't really change much in it. You know, this is I like the the Ramos and, and Bellerin switcheroo that works really well. I wouldn't change anything in this team to be honest. Um, I would just wait until you've got enough to start working on a better right winger striker. Um, maybe you go eventually with the likes of I don't know like a Messi and a uh, Vidal. You know, uh, in the in the far on future, if you can save up enough and then play Vidal, CDM, and Messi, obviously where where you're playing Bellarabi. Uh, but this team is sick, man. I'm going to end it off with uh, Troperix team, who says I've got 350k and I'm willing to save up. Only tradables are the back three, Ali and Lamar. Uh, I have packed untradeable Mbappe and Theo, double rel. I got stinkers from the party bags and any improvements. I'm close to getting Fred, but don't know uh, don't know how to get him in. People the good work. Let me check it out. So you start with this and you play in game this. Okay, I've heard really bad things about Bergwin though, really bad things. What I would say with this is, I mean, I get how you're going to struggle to get Fred in here. Um, what would I say about this? This team looks incredible, by the way. This, like, it's actually incredible. I would replace Deli Alley with Fred, straight off. And then, as your right mid, there isn't really anyone... I mean, you could go with shapeshifters Lucas Mora, and that would get full chemistry. And I think that would be a really good shout as well. Um, you know, you are keeping the Spurs player in there as well. I'm just, I've heard some bad things about Bergwin, man. I've heard some bad things about him. I don't know. I don't know. If you like him, obviously keep him. But I think a good way to get Fred in would be playing him over at Deli Alli here and then getting yourself shapeshifters, uh, Lucas Mora. Uh, but that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later.